Hi there. In this quick video we'll be taking a look at this tiny little air quality meter detector. I don't know. It seems to uh, show us the air quality uh, by coloring this uh, front bar. It was honestly an impulse buy from IKEA. It was right next to the uh, filter uh, cartridges that uh, we bought for our fair nifty for nifty something like that <laughs> I will link the video in the description of those thingies and uh, So this and uh, I was thinking of getting something like this But with a display and stuff like that, but this thing was right there at an offer. I think it was six euros or something like that. So Yeah, hopefully it's uh, it's good and we'll see So, if you want a bit more info, here is the IKEA number of this thingy, made in China, yep, as always, yeah, <clears throat> real uh, professional unboxing uh, right directly on the hard floor, but wife was inquiring why are we not already using it since we bought it, so I decided, uh, okay, let me get it out of the box see what's up with it and uh, let's start using it and it's quite stubborn hmm. I think it's the first time I see an IKEA booklet uh, folded in half like this and this is our little guy really cute it has rubber feet on the front plastic on the back USB type C which is really nice holes to which Presumably the air can move freely inside the unit. I don't think it, it has a fan because it only takes 0.1 amps at 5 volts. So that means basically 0.5 watts. It's uh, yeah, kind of almost nothing. Again, this colors uh, and shows the air quality. But as far as I'm aware, this thing is able to only measure... Uh, particles in suspension in the air so not really I don't know uh, something like uh, carbon dioxide or uh, monoxide or something like that no this is just for particles here we have some info about it so this is not included the adapter and the USB cable so provide your own you need to keep it at 10 centimeters from the wall also uh, this is its normal position, not this or not this, so it needs to be like this, standing up with the cable at the bottom. What else? Yeah, so it basically shows you if uh, your air is actually clean or if you have issues. Uh, so 2.5 um, particles, uh, micrometer particles, basically below 2.5. They can appear from various uh, things. When you are cooking, uh, if you have um, a, a, um, a stove inside and a bit of smoke is escaping, uh, pollen from plants, uh, if the road uh, next to your house uh, is not uh, well maintained and there's a lot of dust on it, if there's a construction site in your area, if there's a really highly circulated road uh, from car emissions, again, you will have particles of this size, really, really tiny particles. And they are quite dangerous because these things are small enough that they, they enter really deeply in your lungs and some of them can end up even in your bloodstream. This is why you don't want to have something like that in the house. We have, I think... Four IKEA, three for Nuftig and one another type. It will also be linked in the description. Filters throughout this house, and those are able to filter up to PM 2.5 uh, particles. Uh, I think they can get out uh, from there about 99.5% of those particles. So not all of them. Some will remain, but hopefully this will be green most of the time. We'll see. I have no clue. I have honestly no clue. There is. Uh, quite a lot of construction still in the area where we are uh, located and there's a lot of dust settling uh, on things in our house even with the IKEA filters so we'll see what this will show us so it should be green 
if there are from 0 to 35 of the PM2.5 particles, amber from 36 to 85, which is still okay-ish. Red, you are starting to have an issue if there are more than 86 particles uh, of these things. I don't know exactly on what uh, size that, that number of particles needs to be, but I'm expecting there's a, a universal uh, method of measuring so operating temperature basically inside the house and uh, temperature you don't have more than that working humidity recommended between 40 and 60 percent that's what we are also keeping inside of the house so quite normal a bit of more info right here and honestly that's more or less it Maximum USB 3 meters, mm, okay, I guess, I, I don't plan on having a longer USB than that. So, let's plug this thing in and hopefully see some green, that's my plan. So, this is ready, I have a USB cable from a Lidl product, Silvercrest, plug it in, and it's pulsing, so it's uh, starting up. I'm going to... Oh, it has a fan. I can hear a fan. So it actually does have a tiny fan in it. Maybe you can also hear it. It's vibrating a tiny bit, so it does have a, a tiny fan in there. Really, really weird uh, flickering. Hopefully this is not always only at the startup. But it's green at least, so yeah, I'm going to leave it do its thing and get back to you when it stabilizes. Okay, this is absolutely unexpected. It's flickering basically from my mobile phone. If I put something... Do you see this? So probably the laser focus from my mobile phone is doing something to it, to make it flicker. So it's not flickering, it's it's a dim green without my phone, but yep. Let me try and just cover my, my focus sensor. Yeah, so at this point I just covered my laser focus from, from the phone. The flickering that you see now is not visible in real life. This is just from the frame rate. This one is visible in real life. So it's... What the hell? What is my laser doing to it? Anyway, we are green, so we are going to be using it uh, for a while and I'll get back to you. And I can hear that fan spinning up, spinning down, so from time to time it's taking measurements, probably it's not spinning all the time. Again with the flickering from the laser. Uh, I've been using this for, I don't know how much, maybe two weeks or something like that. I never saw it on... Uh, yellow or orange whatever it is or red uh, static on that i just saw it going to red uh, for a couple of seconds then going to yellow and then again to green because probably from time to time it gets a really small particle <laughs> and my daughter's stealing that uh, a particle in it it detects it and uh, yeah then when it clears up uh, it comes back to green but we do have a few ikea filters in the house running all day long so I, I'm kind of happy that this shows that they are doing what they need to do, uh, to do. But now I want to burn one of these incense cones in that little house that my daughter just uh, stole uh, to see if this will detect the smoke particles, uh, if they are uh, big or small enough. I have no idea if they are exactly in the same range uh, for this to detect or not. Now I don't get it. Ah, <laughs> it's starting to detect. But this flickering... Look at this. What does this candle do to it that it stops it from flickering? It's not about light because I tried shining uh, something onto it. I literally don't get it. What is happening here? Wherever I burn this around it, it literally becomes bright instantly. What? What's let's see so it's drawing the air from the back of it if we put it over 
Hey, did this die out? Ah, it went to red. So it is detecting the smoke. But what is with, with that flickering and what does it have to do with the flame? And with the laser in my phone. It's really freaking weird. If you have any idea what's happening here, tell us. So I'm going to let this thing uh, burn itself out and uh, then see how quickly it uh, clears to uh, being uh, green once again. And for the noise itself, it's... Ah, you can hear it. So I wouldn't keep this in the bedroom. I would hear it at night and it's going up, ramping up, ramping, going down, ramping up, going down. Like, I don't know, a laptop fan would do from time to time. And it's about the same level as a middle of the road, uh, noisy laptop fan. So to me, it's a bit annoying. I wouldn't keep this uh, in, a, in a room close to me or at night for sure. On a hallway or something like that, in a living room, maybe in a faraway corner, maybe it's good. Yes, yeah, so the smoke is going directly up and it's uh, this is missing it completely. But uh, if I put it in here, probably it will draw it in. We'll see about that. How much it takes for it to... Yeah, and it's red. So yeah, cigarette smoke for sure will activate this thingy. And that's about it for this device. Now I'm uh, covering the laser sensor uh, with my finger so the flickering that you see I don't see it in real life seems to be working I will try to find a spot for it um, kind of far away in a corner of the room because I don't like hearing it just ramp up and going down and ramping up and going down I would prefer it to go at a low level all the time or uh, ramp up I don't know every 10 minutes I don't need to uh, know the air particle composition every 10 seconds. If it gives it, uh, it uh, once at 10 minutes or half an hour, for me it would have been good enough not to ramp up and down as often it, as it does, because it does it really freaking often. But yeah, it does what it says, although in kind of an annoying way. So that's about it. Hope this video helps you, in which case uh, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, maybe we can reach 100,000 and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.